It is summertime and that means there's a lot of outdoor picnics and get togethers and a lot of times you need something to take to that party. So I've got five ideas for you that are easy and delicious that you can take to any get together or just make for your family. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. I thought I would put this video together because I've made a lot of sides that are perfect for the summertime. A lot of them have very fresh ingredients that are ready right now in the summer and my family loved all five of these, so here we go. For the first one, I'm gonna be making a potato salad, but it's not just any potato salad, it is a deviled egg potato salad. The first thing I need to do is hard boil these three eggs so I'm just gonna use this little contraption. I've talked about this plenty of times before. I've got it linked in my Amazon store. I love my egg cooker. It is amazing. I use it all of the time. So I'm going to hard boil these three eggs. The original recipe calls for three pounds of potatoes, but I'm halving the original recipe because that has 12 servings and we don't need that many. So this is about maybe a pound and a half to a pound point seven five ish <laughs> of red potatoes. Again, the recipe calls for Yukon gold potatoes, but I'm just going with what I have. I had just a few hamburger dill chips, pickle chips left. So I am going to go ahead and just chop these up. These are gonna go with the potato salad. Um, I was just gonna use regular pickles, but when I saw that I just had this little bit left, I think this is the perfect amount for my potato salad. Okay, my eggs are done. I am putting them in an ice bath now, just to cool them down a little bit. And then we're going to peel them and separate the egg, or the eggs, the yolks from the whites, just like you would if you were making deviled eggs. just drained my potatoes. I boiled them for about 12 minutes until they are fork tender. They are gonna go into this bowl along with my pickles and then I'm also going to chop up all of my egg whites and put them in there too. Because I'm cutting mine in half, um, I'm doing obviously half of all of the measurements. If you want the original recipe, I've got it linked below. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of mayonnaise, about a tablespoon and a half of mustard, about a half a tablespoon of vinegar, some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna add all of that into the yolks. And then the paprika will go on top at the end when it's time to eat. But for right now, I need all of these ingredients to go in here and mix together. Okay, now I'm just gonna pour this over this, mix it all together, and we're gonna refrigerate it for at least a couple of hours. It may be a little bit longer until we're ready to eat, but that'll give all the flavors a chance to meld together and everything will cool down. Before we move on to the next one, if you are enjoying this video, will you go ahead and give me a thumbs up? Just hit that little thumbs up button right below the video. That lets me know that you're enjoying this and that you'd like to see more content like this. Our second recipe was one that was sent in from a subscriber and we really loved it and it's perfect for this time of year because it uses ingredients that are fresh right now. That is a baked zucchini and tomato mozzarella. I'm gonna be using my dicer. I'm gonna use my larger one, the more of a, the chopped size and not the really small size. So first we're gonna start with three or four small zucchini. I've got three here. This one's a little bit larger and the other two are a little bit smaller. Okay, there's all of our zucchini. Now let's chop up some onion. I don't have enough room inside of this little chopper dish. So we'll just put it here. I need half of a medium onion. She said she likes to use red and I really enjoy red onions too, so I thought I would give that a try. Perfect. Now I'm gonna use some of these cherry tomatoes and I'm gonna just cut them in half. I think she said like 15 tomatoes. And then lastly, we need some garlic. I need two cloves. Okay, we're all done. Let's go over to the stove. I've got our large skillet heating to about medium heat. I'm gonna add in some olive oil. 
and it feels like it's good and ready, we're gonna go ahead and add in our veggies. So we've got our zucchini and our onion. I'm also adding in our tomatoes, and I will add in our garlic closer to the end. I don't want it to get overdone or burnt. So we're just gonna let these saute until they get really tender. Something that she said is optional is adding salt and pepper. So you already know what my favorite seasoning is. Let's add some anti nonos. Let's add in our garlic. Let that kind of infuse all the way through. She said just to let this simmer for like five minutes or so. I am going to turn down the heat. About medium low. And then it's going to end up going in the oven for like 10 to 15 minutes just to melt some cheese on top, some mozzarella cheese. That sounds really good to me. mozzarella cheese. Lou, what do you want? Tell them what you were doing. Did you wink at me? Okay, this is ready to go in the oven. Mm-hmm. Trying to catch you, but you keep jumping down as soon as I come to you. She keeps standing up and reaching. This is ready to go in the oven. She said to put it in at 350. You like that? Oh uh, yeah. I'm gonna try some more of that. I'm not the biggest fan of, is this? Zucchini? Zucchini, I was just making sure I didn't want to sound stupid. <laughs> um, I'm not the biggest fan of zucchini, but in this, it's actually really good. Well, I'm so. glad, bud. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. He's a texture person. Mm -hmm. And like sauteed vegetables are usually not his thing. So I'm glad you like it, buddy. The third recipe is a great one for summertime. It is a BLT pasta salad. We're gonna get started on the BLT pasta salad. We're not gonna assemble it yet, but we do want to go ahead and cook our noodles and then allow them to cool. And then we're also gonna cook our bacon and then allow those crumbles to cool before we assemble everything together. So let's get started. We're just gonna boil this one cup of elbow noodles. We've got four strips of bacon that I've cut up. I've got about four cups of romaine lettuce in here. I'm gonna add two cups of cherry tomatoes that have been halved, two cups of croutons, all of the pasta that I cooked earlier that's now at room temperature, about a fourth a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, our bacon that's been crumbled, and lastly, it says you could add a fourth a cup of Caesar dressing or ranch dressing. We are using Caesar. I'm going to attempt to not make a huge mess by tossing this, but we shall see. Oh man, I love the light freshness of this dish. It's perfect for the summertime. This fourth one that I'm gonna share, we make this every single summer, every single summer. Every July 4th, especially, my dad requests that I bring this over. This is a baked bean casserole. I love this one. Our whole family loves it and requests it. I'm gonna link it below. So I'm halving everything, but here's everything that goes in it. it has a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, um, spicy brown mustard, barbecue sauce, ketchup, pork and beans, soy sauce, brown sugar, um, onion, that's what that is, and ground beef, which I'm about to brown up, and um, bacon that has already been cooked. So if you hear that in the background, I don't know, you either hear this or you hear the bacon sizzling and popping over there. So that's what I'm doing right now is getting this together. I'll kind of show it to you when I, it gets a little further along. Okay, so I browned up the ground beef with the onions. I did forget the um, green pepper. It'll be okay, but it does call for green pepper as well. So I drained the fat off of that. And now I'm just gonna add in this can of pork and beans and all of the other ingredients I mixed together in here. Everything I showed you earlier. 
I'm gonna pour it in here and let it simmer for about five minutes. And then I'm gonna transfer it to a baking dish and um, it's gonna go in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. Oh, and I do cover it with full as well. All right, so I let it simmer for five minutes, put it in this dish. I did spray the dish first, and then I don't know if you can tell, but there are bacon pieces all over the top. So I had cooked the bacon and crumbled it, and now the temple is going to go on top, and it's going to go in for 45 minutes. And then after the timer goes off at 45 minutes, I'm just going to take the temple off and let it sit in there for another 10 minutes, and then it'll be ready. Y'all, this baked bean casserole is the best. Y'all have got to give it a try. And this last one is a Mediterranean orzo salad. Oh my goodness, the flavors of this one, perfection. I definitely don't need all of this onion. I just need just a little bit, just enough for about two tablespoons of chopped onion. I think I'm just gonna use about half of this cucumber as well. Kalamata olives here and it says to roughly chop them but I bought the kind that's already been pitted and they're already halved so I don't think I'm gonna chop those anymore. I'm just gonna chop up a little bit of this fresh parsley and then we're done. I'm just gonna cook my orzo pasta according to package directions. I've got a cup of pasta this will cook for like or boil for like eight to ten minutes and then we will drain it and rinse it to cool it down. start adding in my veggies. I've got my cucumbers and my tomatoes. I've also got my red onion, my Kalamata olives, fresh chopped parsley. some crumbles of feta cheese. Adding in a little bit of dried oregano, about a fourth a teaspoon, some salt and pepper, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and a couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Before I put this in the fridge, I do want to taste it just to see if the seasonings are right or if we need some more vinegar. Or, you know. I want a little more kick. I'm gonna add a little more vinegar. This is really good. It's a great light option. I can see me making this salad for like 4th of July get together this summer. It's a really good one. I hope you got some new recipes to try this summer to take to a get together or just to make for your family. Let me know below which one you plan to make first and I will see y'all next time. Bye.